So, to review, here is the Pokemon that we got last time. We started Trico. We got Thick Fat Spoink, which is better than not Thick Fat Spoink. We got Terrible Hoppip. Um, Slugma re rescued the run again. Uh, Love Disc, why not? Uh, Magikarp, of course. Ilumise, best encounter. Uh, Ammonite, can't win them all. Makuhita makes Duford more interesting. We're about to get another fighting Pokemon, but it can't be Makuhita. Uh, and Geodude, pretty good for Rock Tunnel. We're about to add Route 106, Route 107, and Duford all here in a row. Okay, here's our seal. It is a girl seal, like I was saying. So do we still want to name it seal, like Kiss from a Rose, or do we want to name it something... Oh, Bjork? Bjork's pretty good. Ooh, what about Pearl Jam? Pearl Jam seems pretty good. Mm -hmm. This one could be really impactful. If we get a really busted Mankey, of course you can beat gyms 4 and 5 almost single-handedly with the Mankey. Um, Metatite, very strong, has Detect, um, and High Jump Kick. Um, but mostly Detect. Detect is insanely strong. And Reversal, with uh, what you might call it, uh, Heart Scale. And then uh, two-thirds of the time, Tyrogue is also really sick. We just we don't want Machop, and we don't want Hitmonlee. Wish me luck. We had such good odds to get something good. That's poopy. Alright, I think you win by default, Weiss. It looks like Death Grips it is. Okay. Tempt 88. We have... We're armed with an Ilumise and the belief that this is the run. Brawly. I, uh, I'm taking it easy on you because I didn't bring Skiploom. We are bringing Real Big Fish. We are bringing Rolling Stone. This is my first time trying to beat Brawly, I think, without an Onyx. Um, I've, I think I've only ever beaten him with Onyx before. But I have, I've never gotten Geodude this far. I never get Geodude from uh, Ruster Tunnel. We've got an Ilumise. Uh, and Celine Dion, the Love Disc, Green Day, the Grovile, and Pearl Jam, the Clam Pearl. No, we're not reducing Gara's HP. Gyarados is specifically here not to attack, but it's here to use Intimidate over and over again to spam down its attack. Alright, we need to keep, keep track of Intimidates. We need to keep track of Encores. That's something we absolutely cannot forget. Okay. You've been churned in the rough waves of these parts. Imagine him just like laying on the beach, just letting himself get bathed in the waves, and that's how he got good at fighting. His body just was hardened by the salt waters basking over him. Let's see what you're made of, Brawly. Let's see what this run's made of. All right. As always, we lead Intimidate versus Intimidate here. Do a little bit of a dance here to start. Should be fake out. Still one, that's nice. Can I get down another one? What is the fighting type move this has? Mock punch. That's really good. Okay. I want to conserve as many as much HP as possible. So let me do a quick calc here. Yeah, it doesn't literally doesn't change the calc at all. So we're not going to waste any more time or HP switching around. Well, we're going to do it one more time because we need to make sure it's using Mach Punch. So we're going to take Rock Slide here into Geodude, and then we go 
Take the mock punch into Illumise, lock them in using Encore. Okay. We took two there. Whereas I think Onyx would have only taken one. Now we go Illumise. Get a Muse. And our beautiful Premier Ball. Premier Ball is my favorite Pokeball. Okay, we take two damage. Perfect. Go Encore. Seismic Toss. Okay. Seismic Toss again. <laughs> okay. I don't think we heal yet. We? We've got 12 of these. I don't think we do. Let me just take the kill here. Why is Premier, Premier my favorite? Well, I just love the minimalness of it. It's very um, uh, simplistic. It's just pure white with a little red trim. And then I love just the, the red shimmer. It, it, I just like, it's like the most minimal Pokeball, I think. It doesn't try to be really fancy. It just looks very sleek to me. White goes with everything. Okay, why not heal? Because I, if, if I get crit a couple times later down the line, I'm gonna want to heal more often. Self-destruct, I suppose. Maybe we'll add it because we have a useless move in Rock Throw. Quick Ball's the awkward person at the party. Yeah, Quick Balls are ugly. Signal Beam? No, we're not learning this. We have our perfect moveset already. Okay, Metatite comes out. Right. Metatite has Fake Out? No. Yes. Okay. So, we will go... So it's either going to be Fake Out or Rock Slide, right? So either one, Geodude is best. Okay. At this point, we go Intimidate. That's one Intimidate down. I also need to keep in mind my Gyarados is not holding Orinberry. It's holding Cherry Berry because we might want to attack with it. I'm going to check how much of the difference it makes for Metatite between um, 2, 3, and 4 Intimidates here against Clam Pearl, which is what we want to beat it with, right? So at minus two, like it is now, Brick Break could be a... It's a four-hit KO no matter what. At minus three, it could miss the four-hit KO. At minus four, it looks like it's a five-hit KO. Did we want to take? It's better for us to go into Rock Slide. So we'll go switch now. We have a 50% chance to 2 hit KO this. But we know no matter what, we'll get three attacks off before they get off four. Okay, let me go 
a water pulse. Okay, that looked like a high roll, so this should KO. And we'll get the Orenberry proc. Good deal. We're at 30. Thank you. Only five, that's nice. Okay. Take the rock type attack into Geodude. second one down and now we should check what level of intimidation that Elamise wants to switch into. Okay, so rolling kick at minus two is gonna be eight to nine and a half at minus three. It's it's a very small difference. Let's save as much experience as we can. Sorry, as much HP as we can. We'll go pivot here. Look how much damage we already have on Geo, dude. Like Onyx would be tanking these, and then we'll go Elamise. It's a super Nokia with a sixty-nine. Okay. Now we go Elamise. One does have citrus berry, so we'll have to uh, use a few more of our seismic tosses. Okay. More goes off. Okay. Let's heal. We need to pay attention to when the encore ends. What, a what an unbelievable bug. What a beautiful bug. If this was a Volbeat, we would be having such a bad time. Okay, Encore ends. Wish is clutch later. Wish was terrible on Chimeco, but I'm sure it's much better on this Pokemon. For seismic Toss. Thank you for the peek. Keep me honest. Okay. Yeah, it can be anywhere from two to six turns. It's a very wide berth. Okay. Perfect size my toss again. Imagine having a dust tox for this battle. Oh no. Okay, it didn't end. I think we want to do a moonlight here. Ideally, this lasts one more turn. Yes, thank you. I, I, it looks like a KO, but it looks very close. Yeah. Is that three down? Yeah, three to go. Okay. Come on, Chan. We are going to intimidate. I'm really glad we brought Love Disc now. This experience on Geodude is making me so nervous. Or not experience, this HP. Yeah. Like, we're in such a bad way if this gets crit even once. Possibly. That's one.
This is Mach Punch, so I think we only need two. This is much weaker than some of these other attacks. Yeah, we're only going to do two here again. So we need to be as careful as possible with our HP. through Geodude again, because we want it to be Mach Punch. We don't have the berry. Yeah, I, I put Cherry Berry on Gyarados specifically for Flail against Hariyama. That's why I didn't Orin Berry. Okay, now we go Ilamise with a Mach Punch. Two damage, bro. That's not gonna cut it. And this is Lumberry, I think. Not Citrus Berry like they mainly was. Yeah, it's Nasco Dan it's Chesto Berry. Okay, let's go Seismic Toss again. Watch for the Encore to end. Heal. It's actually better if the Encore ends here because then we won't take damage. Didn't. So we'll take two damage, or four, or whatever. Okay, we just kill. Is it better to kill this with something else, potentially? What do they have left? Wrath and Hariyama. No, because we would take two mock punches into, like, grow vile, right? That doesn't seem good. Yeah. So we'll just finish this off. I did let the berry, yeah. Pokemon Chan is the Hamburger Helper Glove in Humanoid form. <laughs> Ariyama comes in. Okay. So here's the hard one. We might not need to even intimidate Par uh, Poliwhirl or Poliwrath because the move that we're afraid of is Ice Punch. So we're fine right now. Let's do that one more time. This is the last Pokemon we need. We would want Elamise for. We don't need Elamise for. Well, I guess we we could use it on Polyrath too, but theoretically we can do some Elamise damage here for a while. And this doesn't have Citrus Berry, right? Here's where the HP starts getting scary for crits. I think I'm going to go Love Disc here now. And try to get one charm off. Rock slide. Okay. If we lose this to crit, I'm not mad about it. That's what we planned for, is that we needed to get another charm to reduce this damage. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Now, 
what is our optimal attack here? So we know it wants to force palm us. So we can go Illumise and Encore that. This is good for a couple of reasons. It's good, obviously, because Ilumise wants to be taking fighting type attacks, but let's say we get paralyzed and we get kind of nervous because Encore ends and we don't want to get rock slided. If we're in a place where we can get an Encore off, even if we're paralyzed, we can go into Gyarados and Gyarados can't be paralyzed. So, go Encore. We will recover Encores thanks to Lepaberry. We don't get paralyzed. That's awesome. Seismic Toss. We're just going for damage. This has a lot of HP to chew through. Doesn't end. Is a five hit KO, it looks like. Get paired there. Let's seismic toss. See if we get the attack off. No. Let's try it again. Very good. Okay. The Encore hasn't ended, right? Oh, sorry. Encore hasn't ended, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ends there. What's the speed of Hariyama? 29. Clam Pearl does not outspeed. That's okay. So, it's gonna be Force Palm. Or, no, it's gonna be Rock Slide, sorry. Yeah, we just finished this off with Clam Pearl for sure. It always gets this as long as it doesn't get parried by Force Palm. this with Water Pulse. Good deal. So we got one left. And we have all of our HP. We just need to not get crit ice punched, right? Hypnosis, actually. So it was a low roll. Okay. So this should be Ice Punch. Which is interesting. So we go back into Clam Pearl then, right? Ice Punch is max 9. Yeah. What's really interesting about Gyarados being asleep... Yeah, Gyarados, or it's Chesto. What's really interesting about it being asleep is... So the worst thing that could happen is we switch into Grovile, we get put to sleep, we, heat, we remove it with the berry, we don't KO with Bullet Seed and we get put to sleep again. That Then we probably lose. So it's interesting that Gyarados is already asleep. 
now it's definitely seeing the... It's definitely seeing um, Brick Break kill here. We automatically win if we if we let Kitlov Disc die. If we let something die, we automatically win. So, except unless we get frozen from Ice Punch. That's the only way we can lose if we sack Love Disc. So I think we just don't be stupid. Don't try to take any risks. Let Love Disc die, and we have the win. As long as we don't get the 10% freeze chance. So that's what we're going to do. was Surf, actually. That's strange. Okay. okay, so... I will try to go for Charm here. We know it won't Ice Punch now. It's Hypnosis. So now we know it's not Hypnosis. Okay. Sorry, Celine. Your heart goes on in our hearts, but now we have the guaranteed win as long as we don't get frozen by Ice Punch. Okay. There we go. Okay. Ilumise. So, so, so good. And Love Disc, never useful again. Won't even miss you, to be honest. Yeah, it feels like 100% accuracy, right? Okay, good deal. Dem knuckle badge. Should have saved Love Disc. Nah, I'm over him. No risks, no unnecessary risks. You wouldn't be saying that. You wouldn't be saying that if we lost Grovevine. 